Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. This is the last video for lecture three. This is the last part of subtopic 2.3 where we will focus on the anomalous electronic configuration of chromium and copper. So chromium and copper have electronic configuration which are inconsistent with the AFPAO principle. So here is the predicted electronic configuration for chromium atom with 24 electron. The SPDF notation is 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d4 and the predicted electronic configuration for copper atom with 29 electron is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9 and the actual electronic configuration shows the contradict to the predicted electronic configuration where the actual electronic configuration of chromium atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d5 and the actual electronic configuration for copper atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d10. If you notice here, the only difference between the predicted and the actual electronic configuration for both atoms is how the electron is filled in 4s and 3d orbital, where we will go briefly into each of the anomalous cases in the next slide. So let's start with the anomalous electronic configurations of chromium atom. So this is the predicted electronic configuration for chromium atom. atom sorry. So the predicted electronic configuration is consistent with the AFBAO principle where we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d4, 4s2. So this electronic configuration obey AFBAO principle because the electron is filled in in the 4s orbital first before the remaining electron is filled in the 3d orbital. However, the actual electronic configuration of chromium shows the contradict. So where the actual electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d5, 4s1. So what happened here is one electron from 4s orbital here is moved to 3d orbital in order to obtain a more stable half fill 3d orbital. So here, so this is half fill 3d orbital where we have five single electron in 3d orbital. So half fill 3d orbital here is said to be more stable than the partially filled 3d orbital here. So in order to achieve a stable a more stable half fill orbital, so it has to disobey Aufbau principle. So let's take a look at the anomalous electronic configurations of copper atom. So this is the predicted electronic configuration for copper atom that is follow the AFPA principle. So we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d9, 4s2. So this follow AFPA principle because the electron is filled in 4s orbital first, then the remaining 9 electron is filled in the 3d orbital. However, the actual electronic configuration for copper atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s1. So what happened here is one electron from the 4s orbital here is moved to the 3d orbital in order to obtain a more stable, completely filled 3d orbital. So this 3d orbital is completely filled with 10 electron and this completely filled 3d orbital is said to be more stable than the partially filled 3d orbital here so in order to achieve the stability in terms of completely filled 3d orbital so it has to disobey afbau principle